And with that being said, some of my subscribers told me that Hey Fancy Babies, today we're starting in my car. So I just got done filming Nikki and Gabby. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm literally, my wheel is just like in the way. Oh, I can push it in. Yeah, I'm wearing this like 13 going on 30 inspired outfit. I don't know if you can see, this is like this slip and this coat, you know, like how Jenna Rink wears, whatever. I'm vlogging today because I just need to sit down and talk to you guys when I get home. But until I get home, I'm doing quite a few things that I thought you guys would want to come and do with me. I'm going to the dollar store. I'm looking for Easter decorations because I'm spending Easter at my parents house this weekend and my pink bedroom there is not decorated for Easter I don't want to waste money on Easter decorations when Easter's only in like four or five days So I'm gonna go to the dollar store and I'm gonna try the wedding cake Starbucks drink. It's on the secret menu No one's ever tried this drink or at least to my knowledge yet So I'm gonna try it for you guys and then when we get home, we're gonna have to have a little chit chat. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this vlog. I'm literally walking into the dollar store in a slip dress and a coat. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, it's all empty. So as you guys saw, the dollar store didn't have anything. It was like wiped clean. And Home Goods is right next door to the dollar store, so I'm here. Oh my gosh, I'm so extra. This is so embarrassing. What did I do? I literally said in the beginning of this vlog that I didn't want to get that much. Just look at this. Oh well, Pink Wonderland's gonna look snatched for Easter, so I'm excited to decorate. Oh my gosh, no. I cannot believe I just got the money. I feel like everything happens for a reason. I always say this in all my vlogs. Sorry, I'm out of breath because it's like really cold out. <laughs> I met the nicest people in TJ Maxx right just now. There were people in there that were so kind to me that it genuinely just like lifted my spirit. Tell me if this has ever happened to you, but like you you talk to people in a store like your friends. The guy that was cleaning the carts was such a sweetheart. Like everyone's just so sweet today. I'm like, what is in the air? I love this. Also, when I was loading the bunny in my car, this man pulls over with his wife and they put the window down and they said, such a good choice. We got one of those a few days ago and they wish me a happy Easter. Everyone is so Okay, we're pulling up to Starbucks. Just gotta get the secret menu out. Oh guys, look at my nails. Is it like blown out? They're so cute. I copied my friend Mike. They have strawberries on them instead of cherries. So cute. This is perfect because we're gonna be talking about the wedding, so I definitely need my wedding cake drink. Where is this? Can I have a vanilla bean frappuccino, please? Okay. Um, I'll do a venti. Four pumps of white mocha. Bean? Yeah. Okay. Is there caffeine in that? No. Nope. Can I have a shot of espresso in it? Sure. Three pumps of caramel. Three pumps of caramel. Okay. And then a caramel drizzle. Caramel drizzle. Anything else? That's it. Thank Three you. One. So it's called a buttercream wedding cake frappuccino. So we'll see how it is. Hi. I love your mask. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. I just figured this out and I just want to put that out there that I was wearing the Dream Love 1000 attraction perfume this day. So maybe that's why all these sweet interactions have been happening. Have thank you, you too. Oh wow, this really does taste like buttercream. Vanilla bean frap with four pumps of white mocha, three pumps of caramel drizzle, and an espresso shot. Really good. We're just taking a little cooking break before we go decorate. Mmm, bread and butter pickles. They're so good. Guys, no heat about how burnt um, 
our pans are. <laughs> My Easter dress just came in the mail. Oh my God, I can't open this stuff with my nails. Oh my God. Ugh. Long story short, I ordered a dress from Philly Boo and it got stuck in Tennessee for like a week. So that's gonna be my birthday dress in a month. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm turning 26 in a month. Where is time to go? But anyways, I got two dresses because I didn't know. Wait, is there only one dress in here? I feel like nothing's more springy than polka dots. I feel like every year for Easter, I'm always wearing just like a solid color. I never really play with patterns, but this is option number one, but option number two arrives tomorrow. I'm not vlogging tomorrow. So this video I think is going up on Easter. So if you are curious to see what dress I decided to go with to wear for Easter with my annual Easter selfie, click on my Instagram, my Instagram's right here um, and go check that out. Um, just for fun, I ordered a really pretty like big bow this is so cute like how adorable this scrunchie is it just like has like this big bow attached to it and i also got this headband i've never seen a headband look like this before how do i open this it's just like a headband with like a puff on it yeah this is what it looks like on i might wear this the rest of today it's just so extra i have to keep wearing this what's in here i think i got jewelry Oh yeah, I got another layered necklace. You guys know I've been obsessed with them. It looks like this. Right now I have my little bunny necklace Colin got me from Kate Spade last year. I think this silver layered necklace would look so cute with that bunny necklace. I'm gonna go put this on and we're gonna go to Pink Wonderland. So I just got done decorating and I'm finally going to talk to you guys. So as you guys know, um, I've been documenting a lot of like the wedding process on my YouTube channel. Now I'm going to continue to do bridal vlogs. They're so fun. They're beautiful. I only get this time once in my life, so I want to make the most of it. And with that being said, there are some lines that have completely been crossed by my viewers. The one thing I want to do in this process is like let you guys in share this exciting stuff with you guys but there are boundaries that have been crossed and I love what I do I really do my job is such a blessing with anything good comes some bad nothing's perfect there, there are certain prices you have to pay and with that being said my wedding date somehow got out there some of my subscribers told me that they found like pages that other people made that had information on it. All the pages that I saw were fake, but at the end of the day, it like really freaked me out. How and where and why did, how did this person find out the date that we had picked? And it just really freaked me out. There were like a lot of fake registries out there because people know me and Colin's name. And the fact that someone just like knew the date and I had already been giving enough hints as to where I was hoping to get married, I just didn't feel comfortable. So with that being said, my camera died. But with that being said, Colin and I, chose a completely different date anyone watching this who knows me personally and is wondering why they didn't get to save the date we have not sent them out yet we were about to send them out and i'm so glad fan pages brought it to my attention what was going on i mean my analytics tell me that 50 percent of the people that watch my videos are subscribed the other 50 percent aren't subscribed so i know there are people on my videos and on my channel who don't have the intention of supporting me and being happy for me so yeah to conclude 
I am still going to be doing bridal vlogs, but I'm going to be documenting my wedding series on my close friends' Instagram stories. The So Close Instagram stories put some type of wall up between people seeing my videos for wedding planning process versus just putting these videos up for anyone to see on this channel. I just vlogged on my close friends' Instagram stories last Monday. I was looking at wedding venues. Hey guys, so as you guys know, I'm like wedding planning today. If you wanna see the behind the scenes on that, make sure to swipe up and add me on close friends' Instagram stories. But if you guys are interested in like all the wedding details and seeing that pan out in the process, make sure to subscribe to my close friends instagram stories i'll link it down below i hope you guys understand where i'm coming from but enough's enough and i want to protect my privacy at all costs but still share my experience at the same time i'm still obviously going to be posting wedding stuff on this channel but like i said i'm not going to get into details about it and that kind of makes me sad because i growing up i always used to watch youtubers like hunt for a venue and I was so excited to do that for myself like make a vlog all about hunting for a venue I don't want my special moments to be in the hands of people that really don't want anything good for me I'm still really excited to document this experience for you guys it's just going to be obviously short form and on my Instagram stories so you know when you're on Instagram and you like are close friends with someone and there's a story just for their close friends that's literally how it's gonna look except you're gonna have access to it if you subscribe to my close friends and I know I'm really crappy at DMing, but I'm trying to get better. But when you're a close friend on my Instagram story, like your DMs pop up above anyone else's in my inbox. I hope everyone's okay with my decision. The internet is a lot different now versus when I was watching YouTubers plan their weddings. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I'm gonna link everything down below. So yeah, that's it for this rant. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna show you guys how I decorated my room. And then, yeah. Since I was just sitting on my Chase Lounge, I wanna show you guys, I got this candle. I don't know what it smells like because there's just bunnies on it, but it smells really good. Oh wait, it says it on here. Uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't say it on here. Mm. Honestly, I think it says what it's supposed to smell like on the bottom, but for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna flip it over. I also got cotton candy. I get this like every year for the Easter season. I got this cute Victoria's Secret looking wreath. I'm obsessed with this wreath. Yep. I'm obsessed. I feel like I'm gonna stay decorated for Easter now. I need a name for her, but I got this big bunny and everyone was laughing when she was in my cart. I think I'm gonna name her Poppy. She's so cute. I got this cute bunny fleece blanket. It's lavender. Then I got this glam looking gnome. Got like a glam Easter egg, floral ears. Looks so cute next to my pillow. Those who've been watching my vlogs forever know that I have this yellow vintage bathroom and I'm obsessed with it in here. I got this cute yellow like bunny towel cause it's yellow in here. And then these yellow gloves that I always had, I just put there and I always kept it decorated for Easter in here. If you guys remember what fancy vlog, I got these dried flowers in and this and this little figurine. This I love this vintage card. Let me know in the comments down below cause that was an MLM vlog.